Hello everyone, welcome to my super amazing tutorial where I show you all how to use my super amazing rig. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not the best at scripts. Before I get started, I encourage all of you to go join my Discord server. We have cool things like rules and free rigs. And, and you can request for rigs, so I mean, that's, 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 that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty much it, unless you want to socialize, but who wants to do that? <laughs> Alright, to the tutorial. Alright, when you first download one of my rigs, it will look exactly like this, or somewhat similar. Um, all of this, you know, has my socials, credit, my Discord link, uh, uh, thank you for using my rig, uh, but no one actually cares about that, so we'll just move that over there. Alright, a lot of people are uh, confused about how the rig actually works, and I will show you. So what you want to do when you load it, you want to click on the armature, that is the you know, the, 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 the lines, <laughs> the, the armature is the lines, <laughs> it's the, it's the bones, and you want to just go up here, if you don't have pie menus turned on, which would be in edit, uh, preferences, underneath add-ons, you go type pie, uh, interface, 3D viewport, pie menus, when you turn that on, you can control tab onto pretty much anything, and you'll have this pie menu here, and you can go pose, edit, object, edit, edit twice, I guess, whatever. Uh, this is just quicker for me to pose mode, but uh, I thought I'd just point that out. So you go into pose mode, and then you have all these, oh, well, what does all this do? Oh, oh my god, it's very, it's, 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 it's kind of messy, right? Not really. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Um, all the yellow uh, little dots, or spheres, uh, they're little, those, those are controllers for unnecessary things, so bits like the, 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 the shirt, like, or just like little deformed bones to add extra detail, if you want, like, I don't know, you know, you know, like the, the pecs and stuff, uh, so no, a lot of this stuff doesn't really, really matter, uh, but they're there for extra, they're, they're on the, um, they're on the rigs you get when you export or rather import a Fortnite model from the game. Um, so I didn't add these, they just exist. Uh, but I thought I'd keep them for, you know, extra um, control. Uh, this big circle bone right here, that is the head. You can just rotate that around. I see a lot of people using these gizmos here. Uh, let's see, I think, I think, I, here. Uh, they, they use this one, mostly. This is like, you know, just rotating from the view, or using the ball. That feels slow to me. Um, so if you don't know how to do this, it's just R to rotate on, like, your view. So whichever way I'm looking, it'll rotate on that sort of axis. And then double tap R, and it'll be more of like a global rotation. Uh, so you have more control that way. I don't know why I'm doing a full tutorial, but I guess I am now. This... Um, right here, this is the eye controller, so this, like, moves both eyes, you know. Uh, then you have the individual ones, so you could just grab, grab both and rotate them. I don't know if you want to do something funky. So that's that. Again, the sphere's extra controller bones. Not really much, um, on those. And then you have all these individual squares. This is the spine. So you go individual origins, and you can just rotate, rotate them like this, anyway, really. Or you can individually do them one by one, it's really up to you. Uh, the pelvis is here, this is like the master, the root bone, uh, so this is the, the pelvis. But then you also have the hips, so if, 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 if you really like party hips, you know, go for it. Now, uh, people are wondering how to move the arms a lot, because people are usually used to forward kinematics, which is just regular, uh, you know, you move indi individual bones. So people are used to forward kinematics, which is literally just, you know, this, you know, you, you pose individual um, bones to get what you want. But this rig is inverse kinematics, also known as IK, and if you don't know what that is, it's like... If, you, if your hand's on a flat surface, like a table, and you move your torso, only your torso, your hand will stay in position, and it'll... 
So if my hand is just on a flat surface and I move my torso, it'll stay in position. This is really good for like grabbing onto things uh, in the animation world. Um, forward kinematics and inverse kinematics. That's what that is. So you just grab the hand, press G, and you can just move it anyway. You know, move it forward, rotate. Um, if you want to get forward kinematics, all you have to do is go to item and select the hand bone, and you'll have this IKF skate switch. You just switch it, and there you go. If you don't know how to get this panel up, just press N. That'll bring out the side panel, and you have all these options. And also for inverse kinematics, if you don't know what, like you probably spotted these spheres back here. These are the elbow poles. Now, which now what this does is it basically tells the IK system which way the uh, well in this case the elbow would bend. So that's really important. So if you moved it up, it would bend in that direction, and if you moved the pole bone, it would face that direction. So this is really important. So it doesn't. Um, bend the wrong way like this and just breaks the arm somehow. Uh, so that's there. Now to move the feet, it's pretty much the same thing. You have this box. This is the whole foot here. You press G, move that, you know, rotate it, do whatever you want. You can also move the hips up and down. That's, so that's kind of neat. Um, you have these ankle rollers here, like the, these, this little thingy. That's an ankle roller, like ankle roll control, I guess you could say. Um, these these ovals below below the toes are actually the toes. So that's the toes. Then you have this wired uh, hemisphere, wired half circle, and I don't know. Uh, and you just rotate that, and that's basically just a toe uh, control. I don't exactly know what that's <laughs> called. I don't remember. You have these circles on the elbows and knee joints. The smaller ones, they do nothing. Don't worry about them. That's just that just they just they just look nice. It's a, it's a pin. Don't worry about it. Uh, the bigger ones, they are again for extra control. Uh, so you can stretch these anywhere. Uh, this I guess you could use for you could you could use this for animation if you want to make it look stretchy. You know, squash and stretch stuff. Um, facial controls. You know, you have. The eyelids, just rotate them up and down, like that, like so. Middle one, that's just the middle, middle brow, I guess you could say. And these are self-explanatory, you know, he looks angry. You've got the cheekbones, the cheek controls, I guess. This is the corner mouth, mouth corner pieces, the bottom lip here. Um, and then you have the jaw, which is his jaw line. Now a lot of people don't actually know how to switch styles um, on my objects and it's actually quite simple. So in pose mode, every single thing that has a style will have this gear above their head. Or in this case, an item, it'll just be on the side or on the top, wherever there'll be a gear icon, it'll look like this. So you just go into the armature, in pose mode, select the gear, press N. Underneath this item tab, you'll have properties and you'll have every single option right there. Same for the uh, object, you're empowered. Uh, let me just go here. Alright, so see here. Uh, also, <laughs> just letting you know, I will try my best to replicate the game's effects. It won't always look the exact same, but they may look similar. Here's an example. There you go. Just a quick little showcase uh, before I change it. So we've got um, Cypher, you know, uh, what do we want? What do we want? We want the Oni Mask. Boom. There you go. Oni Mask right there. You want the Mask Style. There you go. There's the second style. It looks beautiful. I don't want the Oni Mask. Okay. Now I want the Empowered Style. Alright. Click that. Boom. There you go, there's his Empowered Style. And Only Phase is the Back Bling. Only Phase is the Back Bling on Cypher. That'll change it here, so you'll see. 
uh, there's no horns, there's no like eye glow, there's no mouth glow, whatever, boom. Now there's some mouth glow, eye glows, and little horns, and then one more time. I know it does get darker in game, I didn't know that when I, uh, when I did this. Um, so I may update them later, or when, maybe not if I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, so there's that, and then there's the possessed style, which looks like this. Boom. The effects are still loading, give it a sec. And this is what it looks like. His possessed style. Um, and the scimitar. Show that real quick. Empowered. There you go. That's the scimitar empowered. Just like in the game, probably not exactly the same, but it's 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 close enough. It, it was a real nightmare to get this stuff to work. Um, but now I want to talk a bit about the effects. Effects like flames or smoke or just anything else. Uh, the effects, every single effect on my rigs, are on our rigs, sorry, are run by the timeline. So as you can see, everything is still, it's paused, but once you play uh, the timeline down here, this play button, everything will start to move. So let's play this, you'll see the fire on the scimitar, the fire on the back bling, and the fire on his body. Um, this doesn't look the best, uh, because I've, I've, I've still been struggling how they make their effects textures move like they do in game. Um, but that's that. If you want his only mask on, let's click that. Oh wait, mask style. Oh yeah, mask. Here we go. Sorry. <laughs> Boom, you want it on? There you go. And there's also the fire. So yeah, that is, that's pretty much it. As I said earlier in the video, I would much appreciate it if, every, if all of you joined the Discord as it would benefit me as well as you guys because you get all these cool different things. Um, I'm just gonna show you some stuff on the screen as I'm talking about what I've done and just some cool stuff that you guys can see. Just keep in mind they're all free. I don't know why I make them paid ever but they're all free and you can request a model on my discord um there's model info to let you know how i run things and whatever you request i will do it also another thing just to keep in mind um every single skin that is ported all of its cosmetics will be ported alongside it so if you ask for the cover team leader you will have her back bling, her pickaxe, and her glider in the same file. Um, so you'll never have to import like four different things just to get the full set. Um, and they'll all be in collections, so if you want one thing out of the file, you'll just go like this, file, not, not link, file, append. Uh, let's go, I want uh, Veronica, I want her... Um, I want a pickaxe, so just thud thumper, and there you go. You have a pickaxe. That, that, um, so, yep, that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rigs. I spent a lot of hard work on them. <laughs> uh, thanks to Mitch for helping me with a lot of the stuff. I hope to see you all on my Discord. See ya.